Hi boys and girls. I'm glad to see you on our third day of Joy in July. Let's start off by saying our theme Bible passage for this week, which is a good reminder to us to love Jesus, love others, and love yourself. Can you say it with me? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Great job! Well, today is Welcome Wednesday, and in our Bible story, we will hear how a father welcomes his son home, even after his son made some bad choices. This story comes from the New Testament in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 through 32. Listen as I read it to you from the Shine On Bible. Jesus told this parable. Once there was a man who had two sons. The sons knew that when their father died, they would inherit his property. The older son was a hard worker on his father's farm. The younger son did not want to stay on the farm and work. He said to his father, give me my share of your property now. So the father divided his property and gave the younger son his share. A few days later, the younger son gathered all he had and traveled to a faraway country. There, he spent all of his money. He had to take a job with a farmer who sent him out to the fields to feed pigs. He was so hungry that he would gladly have eaten the pig's food. The son said to himself, My father's workers have more bread than they can eat, and here I am dying of hunger. I will go back to my father and tell him that I'm sorry. I'll ask him to hire me as one of his workers. So the son set off for home. And while he was still far off down the road, his father saw him. He ran to his son, hugged him, kissed him, and welcomed him home. The son said, Father, I cannot be called your son anymore. I've done so many bad things. I'm not good enough to still be in this family. But the father called out, Bring out a robe for my son. Bring sandals for his feet and a ring for his finger. We're going to have a feast. And everyone began to celebrate. The older son came in from the fields and heard the noise from the party. When he found out what was going on, he was very angry. He said to his father, this is not fair. I've worked hard and you've never given me a party. My brother spent all his money and you're giving a feast for him? The father replied, Son, you are always with me and all that I have is yours. But now we must celebrate. Your brother was lost to us and now he has been found. What a meaningful story for all of us. I wonder which character you are most like. Can you think of a time when you were welcomed with a big hug? Or maybe there's been a time when you were jealous of someone in your family. In this story, the father's great love for both of his sons reminds us of God's great love for us, no matter what. This story also teaches us that God wants us to love and welcome one another. 
even when it is really hard and even when we don't feel like it. Listen now as Miss Becky shares with us an act of kindness that can be a gift of love and welcome to your family. Hi friends. Um, today our story was about the father who was quick to welcome home his son, even though the boy had run away and he'd made some really bad choices. Um, yet his brother, who had stayed home and done everything right, ended up being kind of jealous. Um, the story's a good one because it, it shows us how the father unconditionally welcomed that son home and reminds us how God has that same unconditional love for us. Um, it, help, it reminds us that we should be kind and loving to our family members, um, even though sometimes we get frustrated with them and it's a hard thing to do. <laughs> um, maybe especially now with all this extra time together. But our activity today, our um, act of kindness, our, our gift of joy, is to make a centerpiece for our family table. Um, the things in your bag to help you do that would be construction paper that you can do things with or pipe cleaners, but you can find things in your yard. I like heart-shaped rocks um, and we had flowers in the yard, but any art supplies that you have would work great. You can be really creative with this project, but if you'll put it on the table um, to welcome your family and any guests that you might have, um, it's just a fun, fun thing to do. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to see all the different things that you do. So if you want to send us pictures, we'd love to see them. Um, if you'll join me for a prayer, please. Dear God, please help us to make good choices, but also help us to be forgiving when others don't make good choices or when life seems unfair. Please bless the children and their families and their guests as they share food and time together around the centerpieces that they make. Um, thank you for loving us. We love you. Amen.